I sometimes feel like, well, I'm not worthy of being blessed. But when you think about the soft spot, there's no judgment involved in being in that place. And in that place, you can receive the eternal source of love that's yours to, to come to you because you don't have to quantify whether or not you're worthy of being blessed. Has anybody else had that? Like, I'm not sure I'm worthy of a blessing. I certainly have. Have to go to confession, tell people I lied, tell people I did bad things. Then maybe I could be blessed. That's part of the trick in the, the rules is God will love you if. The difference between that and Fitra is you are love. God already loves you. You are already chosen. And chosen, that's another thing. Like, did you choose? We're chosen because we're here. The life current is still moving in us. What's arrogant is to think you didn't choose. Is that you actually had um, a choice in the matter. You have a choice not to be paying attention to Fitra, not to stay in the soft spot. Human beings do have that choice. We've been educated, educated of, about all the things that are far more important than that connection to um, not just the truth, but to the umbilical cord of the universe. How about that for being at the soft spot? If you think of a baby in the soft uterus, the, it's, the umbilical cord is right to the mother. The source of its nutrition, its oxygen is coming right through that umbilical cord. We have an umbilical cord to the universe. I think that's what's happening at the black hole that we've been speaking about. It's like the universe is pouring into us, wanting all this love and blessing to not only fill us up, but to then be poured out into the world. So here's it coming, but I got a lot of rules that it's got to get through before I'm going to let it out into the world. Let me see. It's Friday. Whatever rules, whatever things you have created to stop your love moving out into the world can be unlearned in the spirit of forgiveness and the spirit of purification. 